Good morning, my name is Ryan Alexander with Denison Yachting. Today I am at FLIBS, the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show, the biggest boat show in the world. And this morning I have the privilege of showing you around one of Chris Collins and Tom Convoy's latest listings. It's a 2019 Vandervalk Beach Club 660. This boat goes by the name of Lucy Penguin and in 2019 when this model was released it won a World Super Yacht Award for Most Innovative Yacht. So all the spaces that we show you today they're really cool and everybody who steps on board is blown away. This 660 is built out of full aluminum hull and superstructure and comes to us from the fresh water of Lake Michigan. There are 11 spaces on board that we're going to show you today between the interior and the exterior. On the exterior, we've got an incredible four deck layout. And opposite is the swim platform, the first half of the beach club. And third, there's a flying bridge. When you step inside, you've got your lower salon at the other half of that beach club and three staterooms. The other interior space of note is the enclosed area on the upper deck where we have the wheelhouse and an upper lounge. The 11th space that we're going to show you is the engine room. It's what makes the whole arrangement of this boat possible and it's located on the swim platform, which is where we're going to start today's walkthrough. As I mentioned, this boat is the Beach Club model, the 660, so she's 66 feet in length and her Beach Club name comes from this area right here. So you've got these doors that are going to open up down into a lower salon, giving you that super yacht beach club feel. But here on the swim platform, this is where you get in and out of the water. There's a new davit back here. You've got stanchions along the aft side and clear walkways, port and starboard to the upper deck. You have this lift assisted deck hatch. You open it up and you've got access to all the mechanical systems. You've got a pair of Volvo IPS 950s down here. You've got a Northern Lights generator shore power converters, and a water maker. All these big boat systems in a much smaller package. So on either side of this bimini right here, we've got walkways that lead up that are gonna be found on any of the 660 Beach Club models that you build. When you intro a boat like this and you talk about all the cool spaces, this is one that you might neglect because of the Beach Club, but this is one of my favorite areas on the boat. Not only is it located up here on the upper deck where you've got a view in all directions, but it's actually really quiet. You're high up above the dock here. There's a lot of privacy and a surprising amount of space. Aft up here is our Al Fresco dinette. It's U-shaped uh, with a tabletop with additional seating forward. These seats on the forward side are for the captain and the co-pilot. You can look out while you're running the boat from up here. This is one of three spots that you can run this boat from. Uh, over here on the port side, you've got your Volvo Penta engine controls, as well as a 12-inch Penta display that ties in your chart plotter, engine data, and things like that. The next area I'm going to show you is up here on the foredeck. You've got a few different things going on. We're going to break it down one by one, the first of which is the wet bar. Over on the port side, you've got a steel sink basin that's right next to a top-loading cold box. You've also got an ice maker over there. And then opposite, you've got some prep space on the counter, as well as this grill underneath this cover set into this countertop, which acts as a good serving space. And then center line directly forward of your life raft here, this is a single piece glass panel into the master, which is forward in the bow and the lower companionway. So it lights that area up down there really well with natural light. And then we've got this seating arrangement. Again, semi-custom, this owner went with a pair of sun pads, port and starboard. These double as dinettes, but really it's just a spot where the whole family can come, whether you want to sit, lay out, or really celebrate what this boat is all about. When you're done sweating it out outside, this is where you come next. This is what the boat is all about. This is that beach club. We got a lower salon down here, seating in the aft. So over on the port side, we've got an L-shaped settee and our formal dining table with a pair of barrel chairs over to starboard. For grab-and-go drinks, we've got this modular area over here with a Miele wine cooler and more refrigeration and a freezer. This is part of the larger galley. The galley in here is forward on the port side. This galley offers you a little more than you might think, including a refrigerator, a sink set into the granite countertops, a Miele induction cooktop, four burners, and a Miele microwave convection oven below. As I mentioned earlier, this boat comes to us from Lake Michigan, so it's a little bit colder up there than down here. 
in South Florida and good thing because this boat has underfloor heating throughout the entire boat. It's really well insulated so it's quiet when you're inside. The AC is really effective because of it. At this point, we are a little over halfway done with today's walkthrough of Lucy Penguin. But before we wrap up in the staterooms, which are down this lower companionway, we're gonna take this set of stairs up and take a look at the wheelhouse. It's not that this boat doesn't have crew quarters, it's just that it doesn't necessarily need them because of how easy this boat is to run. This is your third of three helms, the lower position. It allows you to take full control over the boat gives you everything that you need to make the most of operating the yacht. What makes this boat so easy to operate is this joystick right here. It's part of the dynamic positioning system. So it ties in the bow thruster and the engines, which are on pods, allows you to turn the boat on a dime in and out of the slip with no problem at all. Whether you're operating the boat from in here or up top, the speeds are the same. You've got a cruise of around 21 knots top end of around 26 knots. So when this thing's underway, she's got the performance to match her profile. Over on the port side is where we have our seating area. So this is a U-shaped seating area where you can keep the captain company. The other thing is that if you look behind me, there's a ton of glass. Uh, this door slides over and is what gives you access in between this upper aft deck here and down below. You've got plenty of windows in this area, and with the AC pumping, this is a spot where the family can hang when it gets a little too hot out. As we enter into the last portion of today's walkthrough, we are in this lower guest companionway. Over here on the starboard side behind this door, this is where our laundry room is, climate controlled area, space for more than just your laundry. Comes in really handy. And then continuing forward, we come to the three guest staterooms. First, over here on the port side, we have one of two twin cabins. As you'll be able to see when we get into the master, windows are a huge part of this boat. That design continues here as well. Larger windows than you're used to seeing on a boat of this size. Directly across the hall, now on the starboard side, this is your second twin. Uh, again, side by side, but both of these beds face forward. In between the beds, you have a nightstand, as well as ports where you can charge via USB, as well as a pair of American outlets, which is how this boat is set up. These two cabins, the port and starboard twins, they share this head right here. This is a full head and shower. You got a glass shower stall. And again, the windows that we see in the cabins found in here as well. This lighting theme continues overhead here. This is that glass panel that I pointed out earlier when we were up on the bow. This can be either open or closed, depending on whether you're trying to sleep in uh, or get your day going with this shade uh, overhead here. Before this model came fully into fruition and was completed, it started as a render. And when they rendered images, I remember vividly seeing this one right here. The windows wrap all the way around port and starboard. You've got an incredible view. The post that you see up here, uh, that's the chain chute with the chain locker underneath, centerline berth in here, can walk around on both sides, and you've got his and her storage on both sides as well. So there she is, Lucy Penguin, the Beach Club 660, built by the oh-so-talented Vandervalk. I'd like to thank Chris Collins and Tom Conboy for giving me the chance to jump on board this boat. If you have any questions, if you'd like a spec sheet or you'd like to get on board, you can reach out to them directly. Tell them I sent you. might get you a little friends and family discount. I don't know. But thank you for letting me show you around. It's always an honor and I'll see you next time.